a titan, a hero, a cadre, a father, and a true statesman. Just a few words to describe Jacob Lokori Ulani. Born and raised in Guru district to the vibrant Musei Nathan Okori on 23rd March 1965, Jacob Lokori Olanya would rise up through the ashes of northern Uganda like a phoenix to forge his beautiful path to a career that would see him become a great man. A lawmaker at his best, Jacob Olanya, each time he would walk, it would seem like he was floating, exuding confidence charisma, professionalism which showed that indeed he deserved to be a speaker of parliament that will never be forgotten. Congratulations. Thank you. You're most welcome. Yes. This was my guild speaker and I'm very happy to welcome him here as a speaker of parliament. To know who Olanya really was, we retrace his footsteps from a humble fisherman to the speaker of the prestigious August House. Olanya defied all odds and skipped very many hurdles to build an unforgettable career. Olanya attended St. Joseph's College Laibi, Dr. Obote College Poroboro and Kololo Senior Secondary School before joining the prestigious Makere University in 1988 to pursue a Bachelor in Agricultural Economics. Makere University would shape the ambitious young Olanya and help him start his successful political career beginning as a student leader. Olanya served as speaker of the Makere University Students Guild while his good friend Norbert Mao served as guild president. The two of them are vividly remembered for defending the rights and privileges of students when they protested against the scraping of student allowances by government. After school, Olanya would embark on a political career that would shape the man he was. In 2001, he would contest for the parliamentary seat of Omoro County as a member of Uganda's People's Congress in the then Gulu district under the No Party System, also known as the Movement Political System, winning the seat to represent the constituency. However, in 2006, standing as a UPC candidate, he would lose his re-election bid, his one and only blemish on his political career. Under the UPC ticket, he lost the parliament, his parliamentary seat. But he never lost his soul as a member of UPC. Much as he left the party, he joined the NRM. He had all the attributes, all the values of UPC. He remained a pro-people person. He remained a great communicator like all UPC members you know they are, very good communicators. And he remained a down-to-earth person. In July 2006, Olanya quit UPC and joined the ruling National Resistance Movement in March. Personally, I belong to another party. I came to the NRM in 2006. But I came with everything that I have, the intellect, the energy, and everything I've brought it to the NRM. So how do I transfer this and make people come to the party, stay in the party, believe in the party, and do everything in the interest of the party and the interest of the people? And in March 2011, Olanya was elected to represent Omoro County in the 9th Parliament, and this time as a member of NRM. We need unity. Divided, many things will not come to us. But if we do things in a united way, we will achieve a huge mileage on what we need to do. On 19th May, Olanya was elected as Deputy Speaker of the 9th Parliament. Following the 2016 general election, Olanya was re elected as Deputy Speaker on 19th May 2016. In a vote that was conducted as a secret ballot, he received 300 votes while Mohammed Insareko received 115. On 24th May 2021, Jacob Bolanya was voted Speaker of Parliament in a race against his former superior, Right Honorable Rebecca Kadaga and Kira Municipality MP Ibrahim Semujunganda. Bolanya, Jacob Lokori, 
310 votes. Kadaga Rebecca Aliwala, 197 votes. Semuju Ibrahim Nanda, 15 votes. Therefore, Jacob, Honorable Jacob Lukore Olanya, has obtained the majority votes of 310 votes. I therefore now declare Honorable Jacob Lukore Olanya, who has obtained 310 votes cast as the speaker elect of the 11th Parliament of Uganda. I, Jacob Lokori Olanya, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Uganda in the office of the Speaker and that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by law established. So help me God. Ever since joining the ruling National Resistance Movement, Olanya has proven to be a key chess piece in the biggest political party in Uganda. NRM had for long been struggling in Northern Uganda, but thanks to Olanya, who was National Vice Chairperson Northern Region in 2021, the ruling NRM has managed to win overwhelming. Jacob Olanya did what many failed to do and that was to unite the northern region which was politically between FDC and UPC. During the 2021 presidential campaign, Olanya's ordinary skills proved to be key as he always exceeded expectations in his speech. We have had 1.86 no one military coup. Instead of coup, seven of them. We are just about to have the seventh election, general election in this country. So we have moved away from change of government by bullets. We are now using ballots. To me, that's a fundamental change. And that's what you promised Uganda. Seven military coups in 24 years. And subsequently, one president for 35 years. Somebody should tell me how you did it. All these people are very clever and many people listening to me should tell me how did this happen? His punchline delivery proved that he was in the league of great public speakers like Martin Luther King. If there is anything important for you, especially those, those of you coming to parliament for the first time, it is this meeting. Because it's opening for you a chapter you may have been remotely aware of, but now it's the real thing. You have to play it. Play by it and do it. It's the only thing you learn about how you are able to Prepare all those things that disturb people in your areas, your respective areas, and deal with the question, how do I put my issue on the agenda of parliament? How do I get people galvanized support in parliament of 529 members to stand with me and achieve what I must for those who sent me here? This is the moment given to us by God Almighty that we should deliver. We dedicate this whole institution to God, but use it for God's purposes. Look after its people. Because whatever, whatsoever we do, we must do to the least of our people in this country. That must be our focus. According to Jacob Bolanya, NRM employed his door-to-door -door strategy to help Seveni to sweep northern Uganda of the total 5,851,000 votes. The president scored across the country 1,164,000 who are from northern Uganda, making up 67.95%.
This was the first time NRM polled such a percentage from North, which had been an opposition stronghold. According to Wolan, this is attributed to the way the party utilized its structures in the region, which he said were unleashed to mobilize voters. Olanya was able to dispel the common lies that the opposition used to compel voters in the region to vote against the NRM, hence securing the big win. In Omoro County and northern Uganda, Olanya is strongly remembered for his initiatives such as the Danu Padano Foundation, a rural agriculture production enhancement and marketing fund that he created to help people engaged at both household and market levels. The foundation has since created sustainable initiatives to bring resources and microfinance solutions to Omoro County. The Dano Padano became a nickname to him, but he had put a Dano Padano Foundation and he has invested his own personal resources of worth over three billion. This money always is given to groups that are formed in Omoro District and Omoro County respectively. This is a revolving funds with a low interest rate. His foundation also runs an education and health initiative which provides education sponsorship for vulnerable children as well as providing maternal kits, beds and ambulances to Omoro constituents to aid emergency responses. We have lost our brother, the right honorable Jacob Olanya, the Speaker of Parliament. I request that we give him, we give a moment of silence. He was not on oxygen, he was breathing normally. He was of course in the intensive care unit. We tried to call his name. He could open his eyes once in a while and see us and I could see that he recognized us. And when he recognized us, his face became very sad. It was like he was telling himself, this is goodbye. The doctor described to us in detail what they were dealing with. They harvest from a patient some blood cells, what they call the T cells, and they take it to the laboratory and modify those cells genetically, equipping them with capabilities of fighting cancer cells. So they then reintroduce the the modified cells into the patient's body. And basically, they go to war with the cancer cells. But to be able to undergo that process, your body must be able to produce those uh, blood cells. The doctor said Jacob was not producing those blood cells. So it became impossible to harvest the cells for the procedure to take place. They thought that maybe if they got one of his siblings, they could harvest his cells. And if he's genetically compatible with Jacob's genes, then they could modify probably his brother's blood cells and then reintroduce them into Jacob's bloodstream so that they can fight the cancer. That would have been an option, and that's one of the reasons why we went with his brother. But even then, the doctors had already concluded that Jacob was physically not in a position to take that kind of procedure. His organs were too weak. They needed time to, to boost themselves up, but at the same time, the cancer was also growing. So on that second visit, the doctor basically told us Jacob is going to sleep away anytime. And he told us it can be today, it can be tomorrow, it can be the day after, next week, two weeks, or later. But 
it's a matter of time. And he told us as doctors, all they were doing was to ensure that Jacob spent his last days on earth as comfortably as possible. I did not know that Olenya was sick until when he went to Dubai. That's when I, 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 I and he went with our doctors. That's when I checked and I, I, I knew what the problems were. From that time, I, 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 I started to know what the problem was. I have heard some people saying that, oh, some, some people killed Olanya, Olanya was killed. The police are going to come and say, okay, you tell us, you seem to have some information. Oh, yes, because if you say he, he, he because Olanya did not die in a private home. He died in a highly reputable hospital. And before that, he was in another big hospital in Dubai. And before that, he was in our, in our hospitals here, including the Cancer Institute. Everything is there. I, I believe that everybody should talk about what they know. If I knew about the poison, I would be talking loudest. Jacob never told me about that. But those to whom he disclosed that he was poisoned have a duty to expound more. Who can say where the road goes, where the day flows, only time. And who can say if you love grows as your heart. I found him to be an astute leader, a fine legislator, a person who was amiable, approachable, very social, and candid in whatever he would do, despite the political differences we would have, the political, or the volatile political environment. But he's one person you would talk to and he would listen. And at times he would, uh, in most cases, by the way, he's, he would uh, give you the opportunity to speak out whatever you wanted. He is not a person who was vindictive in nature, that he would uh, have that vigilance against you, even if you made a ferocious attack or criticism against him. A very principled man and he's, he kept to his word. He was an accomplished lawyer and a legislator. We we'll dearly miss Jacob. We we'll love him. Oh, I've uh, known Jacob professionally for a number of years from the time he was chair of the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. But I have known him also personally as a close friend from uh, 1988. So that's a period of uh, 34 years. We were together at the university when he was studying uh, economics and I was studying law. Uh, what brought us together was student politics. I was uh, person interested in politics, as was uh, Jacob, and uh, right from uh, around the second year, we started interacting while uh, planning on what to do to bring change in uh, the student community. So eventually I served as chairman of a uh, university hall, I was also chairman of the council of hall chairmen. Mr. Olanya, the late, was uh, the, the guild speaker. And uh, our other friend Mao was uh, the, the girl president, so we were all in student leadership at that time. So it uh, gave me a lot of pride over the years 
to see him moving from speaker to speaker. Jacob had a wonderful sense of humor. He loved fun. He loved partying. He loved dancing. He loved enjoying himself with his friends and with everybody around him. And Jacob, uh, he had no, no distinction of uh, race or tribe or creed or color or religion or age. He fit in just as well with the eight-year-olds as with the eight-year-olds. He fit in with everybody from every part of this country. And Jacob was, was a true nationalist. One, for, for the national resistance movement, yes, he came and he really gave that energy that the party needed in northern Uganda. Uh, he spoke so well, he brought issues so well, he could, you could see when somebody speaks, you see the, the clarity in his mind about issues that should be spoken about and, and, and that helped us in the north to make sure that we package our messages so well to the population and, and it really boosted our campaigns and so to the population. Well I, first of all I should say that the country has lost a great leader and at the time when he's so young and at the time when he had just become speaker his caliber the only speaker can remember who do match his quality was uh, Wapaka Blue. Of course, Second was very good, Ayume was very good, Kadaga was fair, but the Olanya was top league. Right Honorable Jacob Lokori Olanya has been a very loyal member of the National Resistance Movement. He respected authority, he respected hierarchy, but above all, he loved members of the party and he respected every individual in their own right and capacity. He was a uniting factor. He has contributed uh, on how we should be able to reframe our party position. Yes, he was a true lover of the law and uh, we were trying to reorganize our own uh, party structures and uh, rules and rules and uh, the way we do things, the modus of the way we do things as a party. You can permit me to first extend my condolences to the family of the bereaved Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, the late Jacob Olanya, his family, the Parliamentary Fraternity, government, and particularly His Excellency the President. I extend my commiserations to the nation. As a family, as a church, and as a nation of Uganda, Father, we are heartbroken and we are praying, Lord, that you will give us the grace to be able to bury our brother with dignity and with honor and to the glory of your name. May you strengthen everybody who is here. May you strengthen the members of the family and the Ugandan family at large, that, Lord, we will know that you reign even in this situation. May your glory be seen in all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Olaja will also be remembered for his great sense of humor, sense of style, love for motorcycles, flamboyance, love for music, and his being down to earth. So join the biking. Hey, I'm a member of the Uganda Bikers Association. Oh. His love for bow ties has inspired many to adopt a fashion sense, and when it comes to music, Olanya has been able to display his unique dance strokes for many to admire. Olanya has indeed been a man of all seasons, a larger-than-life character whose love for sports was seen when he congratulated the medal winners from the 2020 Olympic Games and when he awarded Bobo Sibiaruhanga the Airtel FUFA Award for the best player in the 2021 season. Another vivid memory is of him flexing muscles with kickboxing champion Kalola Moses. <laughs> I, saw the, I saw the fight. Yes. And I was delighted to see how you were doing. And you see the way you're training. <laughs> we are training so hard. Yeah? <laughs> At social gatherings and parties, Olanya has been known to dominate the dance floor and to break dance. He has been an added follower of the Congolese. Lingala music and a huge fan of La Caraca, the Acholi traditional dance. As he goes back to meet his creator, the heavens get will be open because he has been a devout Christian, a man of God. The angels will also be waiting to receive him in open arms. The right honorable Jacob Olanya will be remembered as a man of the people who loved his family, his political party, and his country. Rest in peace, Jacob Olanya.
Let's go, 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 let's go